sign of Libra. How are you all doing? My name is Kim and I will do your reading for December 2nd, 2020. Um, we'll do some oracle cards and we'll do the tarot and then we'll do the angel deck and the tea leaves at the end. And thank you all very, very much. Big internet hug out your way for subscribing and the likes. I really do appreciate it each and every time. Each and every one of you. Thank you, thank you. All right, let's get us a Wisdom of the Oracles. For Libra, Angel Spirit Guides, Higher Self, you all want to join in and get the message for the highest, greatest good, actually, for the collective of Libra. Here and now. Here and now. Okay. Let's see. 32. Let me look this up in the book because I want to read you what they what they say. Um, it means being fully present in the moment, living one day at a time. So this is like, this reminds you that when you reflect into the past and you start worrying about the future, we can get sucked into depression, anxiety, and things of that nature. So what is actually happening, what is um, always creating is this now moment, this now moment. Everything happens in the now, if you've not noticed. Actually, I do believe everything probably happens all at once, um, but... That's just my belief. I think it's all all at once. It's just the way that we get to view this thing we call time. So with this thing that we view time, the way that you create miracles and, and are very aware, self-aware and aware of your surroundings, aware of all the signs that you might get from spirit, from source, then you have to be present. You can't be daydreaming. You might get a big sign on a random TV ad that you just kind of miss because you're thinking about something else. Could be the answer to your questions. Okay. Let's get you some energy cards. We'll get a couple. And then we will draw some tarot cards. For Libra. For Libra's highest good. Mm-hmm. Deceit and man holding a heart. Deceit and man holding a heart. Maybe you need to be present because there is a situation in which somebody could be deceiving you. And you might need to be present to notice this situation going on. On the back, it's community. Okay, deceit. This is like your Seven of Swords card. You know, this could be about somebody sneaking and stealing stuff from you. This could be vice versa. This is, could be the King of Cups right here, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Libra, I don't know what's going on. I do know what's happening in the here and now, and so you need to be present. All right, let's get us some tarot, and we'll just throw them out there and kind of go with our do an intuitive reading see what we get we have the transformation card and the five of wands could be some competition arguing bickering over how something's going to be done have the four of swords you're wanting to sit out a fight it looks like which is always wise especially if you need to recover mentally or physically all right libra Get you some tarot for the sign of Libra. All right, nice. The High Priestess, the Nine of Wands, the High Priestess, the Nine of Wands. So this could be a Pisces, but I think it's you going inside for the answers, uh, especially with this deceit. I think this is about going inside in the now moment and being self-aware not doing anything right away 
be, but persevering nonetheless, whatever this issue is, you're persevering through it. This is the nine of wands, meaning you've been injured you before, you've been hurt. So you're standing guard still and you have really great will and you have that strength to persevere while you wait for your ships to come in with the three of wands. This is that anticipation being in the receiving mode, like with the law of attraction, being in the receiving mode, being open to receiving things and not thinking about lack, that type of stuff. All right, let's see if we can get some more cards. Ooh. Strength, strength. May need to deal with this issue with strength. Card of Leo, Libra. This is about infinite strength, that you have the strength to get through this challenge. Here's another card for you. I know that seems hard sometimes to think that you have strength, but I do believe everybody is given what they can handle ultimately. And we don't usually see that until the end. Hindsight is 2020. Then we get why things were a certain way. This is your strength going inside. Your strength is going inside using your intuition. We have the page of wands. So that's a, that's perseverance for a fiery new start. A new start on something, whether it be a business or a relationship. Maybe, yeah, maybe it can be even like a kid, like an adult to child relationship. Something starting over. Something having to be revamped up. And I do say child because we have Page of Swords too. There's two pages. Page of Swords is kind of about getting more information. Um, before, you know, before you're judging, before reaching any conclusions, getting more information for yourself. Because you need to defend yourself. You need to stick up for what you believe in. You need to stick up for your truth. Especially with this situation, whatever this situation is right here, it's going to require you to defend yourself and do so. Do so. Do so with spirit. Ask spirit to help you. You will not go wrong if you just trust the outcome uh, with the angels to help you and source. All right. So there's that. Sorry, it's kind of, it's kind of messy. So the end note to this reading is defend yourself. Defend yourself and have the strength and the courage to do so. Hey, Libra. These are the guardian angel cards. Believe. Believe you can do it. This card is also about past lives. Um, and whether or not, like whether or not you believe that we go to a spirit world it says um that this card acknowledges that you have issues with or you want to believe but you want it some more proof like in life after death near death experiences type deal and they're telling you that they're they're real they're real they're true that you've got to believe that's one of the steps in manifestation for anything of yours is to believe believe it can be true you have to believe it can be true to get the feelings and then when you get the feelings you can combine it with the thought and then there you go heart mind coherence let's get you some tea leaves whoa a month and you know what's funny is if they go off the floor i don't read them and it went right like that so it's very important to tell somebody the month of february is important to you somehow All right, Peacock, beware of great pride. Beware of great pride. Bat, take care. Enemies are working against you. Goodness. And that's not everybody's story, but that's quite a few. Archway, new opportunities, possibilities, and paths opening up. That's if you have that perseverance and you have that strength, then new things will pop up. You just have to believe. All right, then we have, so Peacock in February and Bat. Let's get another one. There we go. Yay. Yay. I'm glad I can end it on this note. Crown. Honor and respects will come to you. Honor and respect will come to you. Beautiful. All right, guys. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, much love and light your way. Bye.